Okay, so this is a test of a supposedly nice cheap MPPT track uh, charger. So this was the first one I got, but um, after I've printed a nice casing, housing box and, and, and installed the, the LCD that is connected with this and, and then I attached this, this tape on the back side. So it's quite nice and it's only $30 about that. And so, but um, then for some reason the, the buttons failed and it's uh, somewhere on this board. So the first uh, tip for the manufacturer there is should be some um, TVS diode, some protecting diode to uh, don't don't know. Uh, I didn't really do anything uh, wrong with it, but now all um, these um, buttons here and uh, they go to ground and uh, somewhere inside um, there sh well something is broken and so currently the MPPT tracker says that the um, solar panel is 30 volts and it's making 55 so 60 watt it's a sunny day I will show you later it's a 240 watt panels and uh, so the battery voltage is a 7S lithium ion. It's here, I, sh I show you <laughs> soon, but I've mounted the camera. So it's uh, six, 26 volts. The battery is really, it's, it's uh, only 18% charged. Uh, let's see, it's 25% charged. So it's uh, 2.3 amps charging the battery. And you see here, that's the amps um, from the solar panel. So it looks like, okay, higher voltage and lower amps going to a lower voltage and higher amps. Everything seems nice. And this is a bit, these, uh, I think these uh, watt power um, number, that's not the power that's going into the solar panel, which is suggested because to the left you see the 30 volts. Um, I, I don't really know. It, I think it's the output voltage. And here that's, yeah, where you can see here, so 61. Uh, 60 watts going out and so everything's looking nice this is running now for for a few minutes already but the uh, problem is if i simply shortcut uh, the mpp tracker uh, so um, then um, you, you take a look here it's a power and, and there and i try to um, cut uh, it that you can still look at it so plus is plus zack well, now it's 105 watt. <laughs> you see the, the, the battery voltage is going down to 26 volts. So uh, this uh, MPPT tracker, and that's um, what I have seen for, for nearly a de decade. Yes, it's a decade of, of buying MPP trackers from America, China, Germany. It's, um, it's always better. <laughs> To simply um, take a, a battery voltage that fits to the panel, and this is already a 20, um, 27, 28 volt pet solar panel. Uh, can I uh, interrupt the? Then we can see. No, I don't want to do this because um, I cannot see the open voltage now because um, I would have to. <coughs> cut off the battery and then uh, this MPP tracker, they say you first uh, connect the battery. Uh, and voltage is about, let's uh, 34 volts or 35. And so it's really, but it, if it is good, efficient uh, MPP tracker, it's mean it's still 30 volts going down to, uh, to 26, so it's four volts. So it should, uh, and it should um, make a bit of more. And in fact, as you see, it's again now we are going only 60, 60 watt um, going into the battery. And if I <laughs> simply cut off, I get 105. And you see that. So I, I again, I will take my old one here, <laughs> simply um, monitoring the, the battery, the, the full voltage, battery voltage, and then cut off. Uh, they're always, I mean, if you have a 28 volts solar panel and you charge a 12 volt battery, well, then of course um, yeah, it will work, yeah, but uh, it's always better to, to, 
I, I don't really know. And and you see, it's go, 30 volts going to the four volts, and it's making two amps, so it's eight watt um, going going somewhere. <laughs> Uh, and it's not getting hot at all. So I mean, if it's well, okay, a bit warm here. So maybe these are the eight watt that simply get burned on the backside. This is not what I expected. Uh, at low uh, volt, uh, low sun conditions. So when it's only making thirty watt, then it's okay. Then if you short it itself, then you also get only thirty watt. But um, now you see it's it's even get it's getting worse and worse. So again, you see 104 watt. If I simply the nice thing with this thing is that the, the power management, the power power um, values they still work. So they are measuring the current and, and the voltage um, before and after. So you simply can shortcut the plus poles. and then it would be as if the MPP tracker is not there, but still the uh, the, the power output, you see it's showing here 104 and you can see here it's also 101. 100, well, okay, but in, in the amps and the volts, they, they fit. So everyone can <laughs> simply check uh, these uh, make sky blue. Um, see now it's 4 amps with shortcut and here we have 3.8 amps. So, well, that's not really exact. Uh, but um, I can live with this, this, this correct. This here it says 3.9 amps, 4 amps, and here 3.8 amps. I mean, right now it's it's all the same. So maybe this is one. This is just a cheap, <laughs> not really measuring. And I I don't really know why why, why is this is working so badly. Yeah, that's why I'm making the video. And really, I I, I like it. It's it's. They have a one. This is uh, you get with the housing. Uh, really, it's it doesn't really. <laughs> it's a lot of work to print such a thing. So I would advise buy the one for fifty dollar and then you get a big metal. Then it's a twenty, not a twenty amp. I think that's it. and that's thirty amps. And the the next the really the, the, the lowest you can the, the smallest with a nice metal box. Uh, it has three coils. And I, I found this very interesting. So I was hoping so that they had a coil for low sun and, and two coils for high sun and, and three coils for, for full sun. Uh, because it's always, what they say, the efficiency is always a full sun, so 200 watt. But here in Germany, well, you have only 1,000 hours, sun hours a year. And so... <laughs> You have uh, more than twice uh, with cloudy conditions, and you need uh, maximum power for for cloudy conditions because that's uh, well, that's what you're living with mostly. Here, the nice thing is you can program uh, something. So D24 don't know. I think this is the hours, and here that's uh, 14.5. It's always the voltage um, for 12 volt um, lead acid. So this is, I think, the the charge, and this is uh, uh, to 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 for the long term. And so it usually, I think this was fourteen point five, and this was fourteen point seven. As I have lithium ion, I I want to have a, only one voltage, so it's fourteen point five, and this automatically det detects that. Well, this is not a twelve volt battery. It det detects that is a twenty four, and then it multiplies this with twenty. With two or with three or with four, so you only enter the numbers um, for the twelve volts. So here, cut off should be twenty nine volts. And you see, we are now. Oh no, let's go on. I don't know what uh, what this is. Um, Ten point oh. Um, uh, maybe I can find a manual somewhere. Uh, but uh, maybe Sala also not, likes to tell me and. The setting four is 01, and also don't know. And I think the last one, no, these are the two. Perhaps these settings are the wrong settings, but I uh, don't really know. So, first settings are concerning the, the, end, the end voltage, and I think this is uh, 24 hours a day. And so, you see, we have battery voltage of 25.9, so it's it shouldn't cut off. 
And if it would cut off, I guess, uh, well, then it would have to uh, change the MPPP points. So going to, let's say, 32 or 33 and thereby reducing the power. That was my idea. Perhaps it's, it's already um, um, lowering the, the, the charging voltage because it thinks it's, it's, it's full. Uh, but um, it isn't. And so don't know. But right now, this thing is not working because I can show the you for the last time. Where, where have it? Uh, no, don't find it right now. But again, if you see, if you cut off, simply shortcut it, then it's making more. And so I have to, I have no use for this one. Sadly, because, um, I mean, for this setup here, <laughs> now it's an iron setup. And you see here that's the monitor for uh, so 25, so 24 volt, 25 percent full. Right now this uh, 300 watt MPPP sign sign converter is here uh, with about uh, I think 45, 50 watt. And um, if I put on my 3D printer, well then I need this one. And I wanted to show you my solar panel. It's now full sun. And that's a sunny day. Solar panel on. <laughs> that's me. That's my train station. Oh. And yeah, this was also very promising, promising. But uh, the battery voltage could not adjust it from 12 volts to 24, and uh, the, the serial connection didn't work anyway. So this, it had a good test, uh, so 97% efficiency. But really, if you have a battery that fits to the solar panel, you better go with a simple charger and forget about these MPPT trackers. It's a really a sad story. But again, I want to remind you of my own MPPP tracker. That's another YouTube video uh, that really um, should, should in these conditions where you have, let's about four, four volt uh, MPPP point above the charging uh, voltage uh, and with 97% efficiency that you could still uh, make. Here it is. Make more than I uh, see if you hear now again. Zack. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Okay. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Hello to China. I really uh, still uh, it was uh, very nice. You see, it's nice packaging, nice uh, product, and maybe something is wrong with your MPP tracking, and you can send me a firmware update, or you can tell me <laughs> how this. <laughs> is to be configured that it really uh, gives full power output when the battery still needs uh, more uh, charging. Okay, thank you and bye-bye.